excited. Got something in the mail today. It's cracking with it, family. It's your boy, Aunt Diesel. What's happening? I've been eyeballing this part for about two months. Finally went on deep enough sale for your boy to pull the trigger. No pun intended. As I told you in prior videos, what I did for this bad boy was, you're probably looking at the off kilter charging handle. I'll explain that momentarily. Just walk with me for a minute. What I did for this was I took the bolt carrier group out of this bad boy here. My Bushmaster Carbon 15 that I'm currently trying to sell because it's literally taking up space in my safe. It's my first AR-15. Got some history together. But I might be getting a divorce. From this, not from my wife. Y'all fucking crazy. I don't, we don't play them kind of games around here. Back to this. I took the bolt carrier group out of there to put it in this to test it out, try it out. And I've been looking at bolt carrier groups on guns.deals. Now I've been an avid onlooker on this site because they have very good parts, firearms, anything that has to do with the second amendment community, which I'm happily a part of. They have really good prices on firearms, parts, pieces, everything. And I finally found a bolt carrier group that's within my price range that's allegedly top of the line. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Just came in the mail today. And we gonna open this bitch together because we, we like this. Damn, okay, they said, uh, Diesel, we're gonna do this one more again. So, grab a knife, one more again. Can't hate the packaging. I'm feeling it. And this came from Dirty Jersey. Okay, let's get it. The place that I ordered it from is Arm or Alley, based out of New Jersey. Now you looking like, damn, Diesel, you going through some things trying to get this bitch open. I can respect it because I can guarantee that my part came safely. And this is bubble wrap packaging here. Respect, Arm and Alley. Arm or Alley. There we go. The Toolcraft Bolt Carrier Group. For 556-223 and 300 blackout. Let's take a gander. Comes with some lube that I'm gonna take off immediately to put my own lube on. You see the, the oil sheen on there? I'm gonna get rid of that and put my own on there because I know my stuff. Properly state gas key. Now the bolt itself, which is this part here, I would take it out, but I don't want YouTube to shut me down for showing people how to put together guns, is 158 carpenter steel. Then the actual carrier, which is the apparatus right here, which does have the forward assist grooves. I didn't know what those were for until I read the description. So that I can make sure that the round is seated properly. Forward assist. All my guns have to have a forward assist. I don't care if I never use it, they're gonna have it, if I can help it. The steel used for the bolt carrier is 8620 steel. And the good thing about it is this comes with a no questions asked 
lifetime warranty. So if I go out there and this breaks, I can send it in and they'll send me a brand new one for as long as I'm alive. And hopefully I will never have to use this to live long. It has been shot peened and has been magnetic particle inspected. I don't know what the hell all that means, but I was told that when you're getting a bolt carrier group, make sure it's been shot peened and magnetic particle inspected. Allegedly, there's some marking somewhere that shows that it has been tested. And it is right there, right there. MPI, meaning magnetic particle inspected. So it is marked and I'm feeling it. So I'm going to put this into my 300 blackout pistol build. Be right back once I break this open. I don't want them to say, you're showing people how to operate firearms because this is not a free country, although it is alleged to be, but they are actively trying to target us and gotta live by their rules since we live in their country, right? Although they work for us, I never understood that. Like, damn, you work for us, but you're our bosses, fucking crazy. Anyway, let me break this bad boy open for you. Bow, it is open. And let me show you my other acquisition. This is the, and it's lubed up like a mug because I like to keep my firearms lubed. But this is the Seekins Precision. Not ambidextrous, but that bit sexy though, ain't it? Like I caught my eye I'm on some Illuminati shit. Ooh, all seeing eye. I'm not really feeling the fact that that is an exposed spring there but it is fairly reactive and I'm hoping it doesn't pop out because I spent $55 on this bad boy. Me and the wife and one of my kids went down to Anchorage a couple weekends ago, stop in and dip out, you know what I'm saying? And I had to stop by Cabela's because again, we don't have one here. So I picked this up, $55 on sale from 75. So we're gonna put both of these in. Boom, there we go. That is a black nitride finish on the bolt carrier group. It's MSRP is 120 bucks. The boy don't never pay full price for nothing if I can help it. Ask me how much I paid for it, just ask. Take a wild guess real quick, I'll give you a second. 80 bucks shipped save $40 off the top. So, oh yeah. Loving it. Can't wait to get this bad boy back to the range. Try out my new bolt carrier group. I might end up getting another bolt carrier group, possibly the same one. Or I might upgrade to the nickel boron finished bolt carrier group by Toolcraft because again, they have a lifetime warranty and I love parts and pieces and weapons that have a lifetime, no questions asked warranty. 80 bucks for a $120 bolt carrier group. Can't hate it. I love it. Appreciate y'all watching. Y'all be easy. Don't study my moves, just check my footwork. Peace.